A new year and a new challenge beckons for North Harbour and Northland as they embark on their Farah Palmer Cup Championship journey for 2023. Tēnā katoa katoa, no mai haere mai ki Oniwa Domain and welcome to Auckland's North Shore where the home side will be looking to get a win over Northland after an 11 year drought. <laughs> challenge with that one. Patricia Vaca at the very front of that formation, striking there into the eyes of everyone at home, no doubt. Really looking forward to this one. A wee Mona Lisa. As Tyler Nankerville brings the Far Palmer Cup championship season to a start for both of these teams. And Wong carries it forward for the North Harbour Hibiscus. Fletcher straight into it as well. Looking to exit, and it's messy straight away for Freeman. Back inside their own 22 oh, for North sh- Harbour. And it's been stripped away now to Aroha Savage. Yeah. It's straight away on the counter-attack. Northland thumping tackle coming in. Low from Harbour. Quick recycle again for the Northlanders. And that pressure immediately puts Harbour on the back foot. Big storming carry from Wikaida. Ball spills out the back though and Lavia jumps on it. So messy start for both teams. Position changing either side. Harbour decide to run it out. 100 metres to Tenana. This time they look to exit Freeman. Puts good to ball. Finds touch and just brings a bit of calmness to that frantic start. Absolutely. Also playing the ball for Harbour again. That line speed from Northland. Better half Savage that time. Just oh, oh, on the back foot. Big shot coming in from Justice Marina. And again, Crystal Murray now. Absolutely relentless on defence. Harbour Northland Cody. Well, that's a bit of a mismatch if I ever saw one. A prop on a first fight. She, Nonetheless, they she'd lined her up too. <laughs> Absolutely. But again, they're identifying that harbour from open play. They're just not try- They're not quite getting to the advantage line. And it's giving the code the opportunity to close that gap and put on those big hits. It's a hit by Justice Cardena as well, which really led it. And then Crystal Murray said, I want a bit of that action. That right time there. So Harbour with tidy set piece. Freeman the side with the right foot step. Slices open this Northland defence. Ball is available at the backfield. They go out to the right. That's Pepe on debut. Williams trying to clean out the arriving defender. Northland have turned this over though. They got in right over that ball. Just slipping over there. Again, Northland. Holly Williams and Fletcher trying to get in over the ball and they've stolen it as well. So two turnovers in quick succession for either team. Williams goes down the short side, throws the fake. She is isolated though, trying to clean them out as Wong does well. This time they carry through Mallow. We've got a penalty as well. They go quickly through Bill. She takes the tap. Fire the ball out. Again, good strong defence coming on Moana Kordene. Tenana, Tenana, Tenana gets close. Promising stuff from the North Harbour Hibiscus. Freeman, Tua Tingapua. Having the fake and it could have been an obstruction. Yes it is, but they're going to go back for a penalty. And you can see a bit of lifting confidence from this Harbour team. Absolutely. They've got that again. They've lifted up the speed of the passes. They're just keeping it simple and it's working for them. This is the longest string of play I think they've had all game. They're going to tap and go. And up to the task was the Northland defence through cutting it. And Holly Williams on an angle. Chopped by Tui McGeorge and finally North Harbour cracked this Cody defence through Jade Wong. 
and just like that the hibiscus are the first to strike you would say against the run of play absolutely there was a lovely little interlude there they've been you know doing the passes supporting each other and it's the quickness of play at the right time that has actually been working for the hibiscus nice little pop pass there too williams just hitting it advantage at pace as every good lock forward should do is a nice pick and go and luckily for her not too far from the try line. I mean, we love him all, don't we? Oh. It spills over the back though but it went backwards so the Cody still have position. Oh. They're just going to pick and go and fight their way towards the line. They're about 10 metres out. Good defence coming in from Harbour, but Crystal Murray, the danger woman, with ball in hand. They fire it out to their backs now. Could we see Northland with their first try? They fire the ball out wide to Cooper. Cooper just runs it straight and hard, flirting with the touch line. That is the try line you see just behind North Harbour. Again, the defence coming in from Harbour is good. Tenana. They go down the short side. Trying to find some space, Tara Turner, Turner! Wow. Break the deadlock for North, uh, Northland, should I say. It had been a relentless battle. We're at the end of the first half. They hadn't found any chink in the armour of this North Harbour defence, but finally, down that edge that they've been favouring, they finally get a try. This young lady is again hitting the ball at pace. Tara Turner showing the ball expecting it to go a little bit further wide but no need and so half time score is seven points to five here bill to freeman carbon copy of what we've seen the past few minutes is just trying to exit and get themselves out of trouble and good defense again coming in from lucia bolton very well on the kick chase and applies pressure on defence. Northland. Again, relentless with their carries. Here we tied up. Turner puts boot to ball. There's no one in the back for Harbour. Plenty of chases coming from Northland. Who's going to win the race? Oh. From Northland, you ask to see more kicking, Mona Lisa. You certainly go, and Kerry Johnson is the one to score for Northland. Well, absolutely. I thought Hibis has got to get out of jail free card there, but beautiful kick and a great chase. And they've been really, you know, um, it's happened in the first half as well. She's been there with Kovic, Sitch, Banders, and Nankerville, and they've been chasing their kick chases, working for them, and they've finally got some points and take the lead. no one back there at all for North Harbour and then look at the amount of blue jerseys that are there the chase is fantastic and Johnson is the one that gets there they go down the short side O'Sullivan with an 8-9 play off the back and then spinning out of the tackle is the try scorer Johnson. Kerry Johnson still going, Holly Williams is giving chase, but Johnson, well, there was absolutely nothing happening down that right edge. You put the ball in that woman's hand, and she just absolutely flew, and she extends the lead for the Northland Cody. Well, well, get this lady into space, and she is off. Again, look at all the players, and that's that half of the field just some brilliance a little step to the right it's not often we get to see a flying winger in this game beautiful. it absolutely nails it beautiful Wong wins the line out, passes it off the top. Oh, Ville. Taken by nah. Savage, but Crystal Murray gets in over the ball again. And they've turned it over, have Northland. 
Adinga Mate with the offload, lovely offload from Adinga Mate and ball in two hands and the fake from Nankerville, she's looking for options, decides to go herself, is eventually stopped by Waldron but brilliant running from Nankerville. This time they try to go quickly, this is nice hands from the Northland team and wide open space for Lara Cooper, completes it with defend as well. And that's a fantastic team try. The break down the edge from Nankerville. The quick hands from the four pack to get it out to the other wing. And the Cody go bang bang. Well, if the floodgates started to open, there was a lot of pressure in that first half with the scrums. And you wonder how that has affected, you know, the, the energy of some of the North Harbour hibiscus. But that was beautiful team play with to with. And just that earlier try by Johnson I think the, the Cody have just started to step up their game and beautiful hands forwards and backs and just getting over that advantage line just look at the quickness of that passing mm. as well from everyone and they held it up at the right time too by committing their opposite defenders which just meant that Lara Cooper had a brilliant run in but again you had your tight five all loving, lovely running passes, getting over the sideline. She's on fire. And how about that kick from Crystal Murray as well? Two from two in this game. Sends it to 24 points to seven. When you look at the try scorers too, one try to Turner, two tries to Johnson and one to Cooper, all of them in the back three. So well, that's full time here at Onewa Domain and after North Harbour led 7 points to 5, the final score is 24 points to 7, a second half dominated by the Northland Cody here in Tamaki Makoto.